What's up guys, this is Paul with 12voltview.com and today we're looking at the Kenwood's top of the line radio before you go on to double screen, uh, double dens. Uh, it's the Kenwood KDC X997, the Kenwood Exelon radio. And, uh, the price of these average between $259 to $299. Uh, they also have a two year warranty because you know all Kenwood Exelon products, whether it be speakers, amps, radios, whatever, uh, they all have a two year warranty. And along being an Exelon product, some of their internal uh, components, you know, are have been juiced up some for better sound output and sound quality. Now let's get this thing uh, taken out of the box and see what's all inside. Got the door open. We got the oh, here's, here's the microphone. That's for the that's for the Bluetooth. It's got built-in Bluetooth. Uh, got a remote harness. Installation screws, I think that's all on, on the top part. Get inside of here, we got the got the manual, a warranty card, uh, um, CD keys, and a little cloth bag for the for the detachable face. Real nice. Pull this out of here, put this off to the side. Got the styrofoam. And, uh, always in a plastic bag. I think most all new radios are. I got the plastic face protection material. And it also comes with the install cage. Actually, most all radios do come with it nowadays. Uh, so some double dens won't, 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 some, some future radios I show you that they actually don't come with their own cages, but all den size radios do come with, come with them. Uh, and here's the radio. Let's get it uh, mounted up on the display and we'll see what the back it looks like and then we'll swing around and turn it on and see what the all the insides look like the front. Alright, we got to turn around the back side and uh, see what we got on the back here. We got the first thing to look at is the FM antenna plug in, little uh, three or four inch uh, cord there. Uh, we also have the, for the pre outs, we got the, what looks like uh, rear front and subwoofer for pre-outs. These are all 4 volt pre-outs. So you can uh, plug in you know, a 5 channel amp, 4 channel amp for base amp, 3 2 channel amps, or 2 channel amps for the base amp. You know, it's a, it's, it's has all the outputs possible for all your speakers in the vehicle. Uh, over here we got the fuse, got the plug in for the power harness, wired harness, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got a 3 foot cord with a USB plug in on the back of it. And, and then it comes all default with a little cover to keep the dust out, so you just pop it out. I just threw it on the floor and lost it. Anyway, a little dust cover. I'll get it later. Uh, you can just you can pop it out under, if your if your install kit has a pocket, you can drill a hole and mount it up underneath and stick it at your pocket, or you can let it dangle out under your dash or in your glove box, wherever you're gonna stick it. This is for the rear USB. Uh, the next one here is this is uh, this little port right here is for the microphone. After you mount your microphone and run the cord, just plug it in here. That way you can talk wirelessly without having to worry about picking up your, your Bluetooth enabled cell phone. Uh, there's a little port right here, if I can get it unhidden by the cords. This little round port right here, that's for the satellite radio. This, this radio is Series XM ready, and you have to purchase an optional module to plug into here so you can, can subscribe for satellite radio. And, uh, and that's pretty much it for the back of the radio. Let's get this thing turned around, powered up, and we'll see what the front of it looks like. All right, we get this thing powered up. It's, uh, it's going to initializing mode. Uh, it's asking me to cancel demo, press the volume knob, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Demo off, of course, because yeah, I don't want to interrupt him while I'm talking. And plus, if you, if you ever get a radio that has a demo mode, you need to turn it off as well. Um, it's a uh, got a pretty nice three to the four line display, you know, and uh, it has a nice uh, glossy black professional look to it. Um, so right over here, we got the source button. Uh, this little Chrome button here is actually a back out menu. If you're in the menu, change some settings, you can press it, and it'll back you out to uh, to the previous menu. You keep pressing until you come back to whatever you know source you was in. Uh, if you're in the, you know, the, 
the HD radio slash radio section, if you press this the same button, it'll cycle through your preset list. Well, we'll turn it on actually. Then you just use your, your volume button here to scroll down all 18 presets. See, this is um, this and one, one or two other radios from Kimwood allow you to access all 18 presets without having to go through FM1, FM2, FM3. It's, it's, it's all one FM. And so you can preset all those 18 stations you have in your town, if you have them, to presets. Uh, and you press it again, it goes back to a mixed preset list, which uh, that's for AM. And you press it again, and it goes back to the radio station. Uh, the button right here is your Bluetooth. That's what goes into your Bluetooth mode. This is to do certain things that only you need for your Bluetooth phone and stuff, like different settings. Device priority, if you had your phone already connected, it'll give you a list of a, of a phone or, or, or two. Let's say you have two phones paired to the radio, you can select which phone you want to use when you get in the vehicle by using device priority. Since I don't have any program to it, it says no entry. I'll back out. Uh, next step down in the Bluetooth mode is display and illumination. This is the same menu that you get uh, for the regular illumination display. Got your color select. This is what you can select. Uh, uh, you can select all, which everything that has a color on it. Is, is, uh, you can make it all one color. You can let it cycle through. Um, to go into it, you just press the enter key. Var variable scan is, is you know, just your changing of colors automatically. Or you can go to different colors. You know, all up to I think 22, 24, yeah, 24. And then user, you know, you, you, if you want to select your own. Uh, I think I just turned it off. And we'll make it, we'll make it where you can kind of see it. Uh, it's this pretty green color. Uh, display, the, this right here is your, is your, your display. So we'll change it to a different colors so you kind of see the di difference between the keys and the display. So everything just on the display is one color. I'll back out. The uh, key is everything that's not the purple color is, is the key. You know, you got your USB over here, your track and all this other stuff. That's your, your key colors. So you can change those to... Uh, let's see. A totally different color. Uh, that's all for the display and illumination, or probably just the illumination part of it. I'll back out. Um, display and illumination off. You can go into here. You can have it, you know, display only, no no illumination, and that's pretty much it on that part of it. Uh, display dimmer. If this part right here at night is too bright, you can dim it down. I think two notches. Yeah, or you can just turn it off altogether, where it's just bright all the time or auto it'll automatically dimmer if you have the illumination wire hooked up behind the radio. Um, contrast, if the sunlight is beating down on you and you can't see the screen too well, you can adjust the different contrast to kind of bring out the numbers. But usually if you're driving you're gonna be sun gonna be blaring down on it for very long anyway, so I didn't lost track of changing there. Uh, display negative positive, all it, all it does is just change the way the pixels are, just reverses them. Um, negative one, negative two, I haven't really figured out what difference those are, but I know if you go to positive, it just switches the pixels. Uh, text scroll, if the scroll, if the, the, if the text on your information is too long for the screen, it hangs off, you know, scroll across the screen so you can finish reading the rest of it. Uh, Bluetooth device status, um, audio disconnected, it just lets you know if, there, if there's something disconnected or connected to the radio, you know, be on the phone, Bluetooth phone and for the Bluetooth audio. Uh, illumination dimmer, that's just, a, you know, dims all the keys, if they're too bright at night, you can turn those down. Uh, illumination effect, I think when it's ringing and stuff, I think it blinks or something like that, lets you know you got a phone call. Uh, illumination music sync. I think if you want to blink with the music, uh, you can turn it on. I believe that's what that's for. And that's all for the illumination settings. Uh, the next one is the actual settings. 
This is where you can actually go into actual Bluetooth uh, certain menu, like pairing. This is for pairing a phone. Uh, inside that menu, you got your phone selection. You can select a phone if it was already connected, it'll show up on there if you want to select that phone. Uh, audio selection, same thing. If you had a different phone that had some music on it, you can switch over to that phone, I believe. I have to read the manual on that. I'll, uh, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll let you know in the description under the video. Device delete. If you had a phone on here that's no longer used, like if you got a new phone or something, or somebody paired their phone by accident, you can go in there and delete that phone out of the radio so it won't have to remember those particular settings. And that's all for the pairing menu. Uh, the next menu is detailed settings. You go into here, pin code edit. Usually the radio, radio automatically generates a random code for phones that you don't have to put in usually, like for the iPhones, Android. They don't, uh, it, it sends that code out with the numbers to your phones that, that way you don't, you don't have to uh, uh, put it in. Also, if you have a iPhone and you plug your iPhone into here, they will automatically send a pairing request to the iPhone through the USB. Auto answer, of course, that's pretty self-explanatory. It automatically answers the phone if you wanted it to, after like two or three rings or seconds. Auto reconnect, as, uh, usually it's always on, that way when you turn the key on, it automatically re reconnects to your phone. Auto pairing, usually it's it's always on, that way it has to has to do with the, the pin code too. Uh, auto uh, Bluetooth, um, hands-free auto audio uh, by default the speakers only play on the front one when the music playing off your phone through the Bluetooth that only plays off your front speakers so if you have subwoofers and amps and stuff and you're like well I don't have any bass go into your Bluetooth HF or hands-free audio settings and change it from front to all that all your speakers will play uh, call beep that just lets you know, it just rings for you while, while you need a call uh, Bluetooth, FW update, uh, what FW is for firmware, you can actually go to the Kenwood website, KenwoodUSA.com, you go to uh, support and look under firmware downloads and you can actually look up the bottom of your radio, whether it be this one or a different one with Bluetooth, and see if there's an update and it actually give you, you can actually download instructions that you can print out as well as the bait itself and it tells you how to do it, usually it takes about 10, maybe, maybe 15 minutes at the most to update your radio completely. If, if there's an update, uh, let's see. That's what the that's what the Bluetooth FW update means. This firmware, mic gain. If they can't hear you while you're talking, you can you can crank the gain up a little bit uh, so they can. Uh, echo ch cancel level. That's where if you're talking and you're kind of echoing while you're talking, you can you can try and cancel out the uh, the echo. And if you can't, then you might, might want to relocate your microphone. Uh, that's all for the detail settings. Of course, clock and date, you know, that just goes in and changes your clock adjust, time synchronized with your phone. You usually don't have to worry about all that because once you adjust it up here, it's, it's already set. Uh, date, so you, can, you know, set the time and date, and date mode. It just depends on how, how, what format you want your date in. And I think that, yeah, that's all for that. Uh, and that's all for those settings. I'll back out. The next setting is Bluetooth test mode. That's just to make sure it's working. And that's all for those settings. So make sure that's all the all the settings. All right, we get out of the to the back to the re regular radio. Okay, that's for the Bluetooth button. Um, this button right here, it, it doesn't doesn't look like a button until you start touching on it, but it's actually a, a face disconnect, or you can see so you take the face off. That's that's what the little baggie comes in. You stick it in and keep your nice. Uh, uh, glossy look on there so it won't be scratched up. Alright, plug it in. Of course, when you take your face off, whether it be on CD, radio, it automatically goes back and finds out, starts off where you left off. Um, right here, uh, there is a CD player and it just has a dust door that you can, so if you, if you drive like on a bunch of dirty roads or if you don't want any dust getting there, for the most part, you just close the door and it keeps most dust from in there, usually on radios with the but the CDs wide open, you know, dust likes to fly right in there. Even though it has those little, little foam teeth in there, and they don't keep all the dust out. So this is like one one more added protection to reduce the amount of dust going inside your CD player. 
and as well as the USB and aux input. You can't see it, it's not highlighted like some of the earlier models are, but there's the aux input right here, the AUX auxiliary, and the illuminated uh, USB port. Right next to it, if you're if you tune, turn on, if I can do it from here, uh, I'll, give it second, I'll, give, I'll give them that menu here in a second. If you turn on uh, rear USB, your rear USB light turns on. That, that means your USB in the back of the radio is now activated. You can start using it for your iPhone, thumb drive, uh, Android, whatever. Um, I'm not even going to plug into it right now. Um, the settings by default, you got HD radio, and HD radio is for uh, high definition radio or, or local digital stations. Uh, that's if your favorite radio station normally broadcasts on analog, and you might get static and you know stuff like this. Well, digital signals is it's like CD quality music, but um, without the static. Uh, if, if the first thing the radio does, it automatically looks for HD radio. If it doesn't have it, it switch, automatically switches over to normal radio. Uh, you also got your front USB, which is here. Rear USB, which is that cord in the back. Bluetooth audio, it automatically starts playing. If, uh, if your phone's already connected, it'll, it'll find some songs and start randomly playing random songs. Aux input, that's for this right here. And of course, standby, that's like the... Like a, uh, not really off, but it just turns the radio or turns the radio down until you turn the truck off or car off, then it actually turns the radio off. Alright. Uh, we also have right here the channel track uh, up and down buttons. You know, if your stations, you can, or, or CD player, or, or USB, or iPhone, or whatever, you use this to go through your songs back and forth. Your thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, if you have like an iPhone, iPod, or something like that, you can press and hold this up button, it'll tag that particular song. So you can, I think there's a tag when you can go through and so you can play like, it's kind of like a favorite list, I believe. I've never really used it. Uh, Seek. Uh, when you're in Seek, I was press the down button in the FM part of it. Auto 1, it automatically finds the nearest, the uh, strongest station and starts playing. Auto 2, it cycles through all your presets. And manual, and it goes through each station one at a time. Alright, now let's see. Um, before we get in the menu, let's uh, I'll show the other features. Of course, radio's got Bluetooth and HD radio. Uh, I also mentioned it has a Sirius XM radio, which means it's by optional part. This radio also has iHeart radio capabilities, AHA radio, and Pandora. Uh, Pandora, you can use that on your iPhone. You plug it in, you can turn on Pandora so it's working. If you have an Android, you have to go through the Bluetooth in order for the Pandora to work. And also the uh, iHeartRadio and, and AHA Radio. Um, you, those are free apps you can download out of the App Store or the Play Store. And, uh, you, and you can listen to different music from that way. Alright, here if you go into the, the volume button, which is the, the main menu of the whole radio, that's your audio control, which in here we got a subwoofer level, you know, positive 15, negative 15. Yeah, this is for the subwoofers. Uh, preset equalizer, that's like, you know, bass, uh, super bass, jazz, rock. Manual equalizer, this is where the fun begins. You go into gain and you get a 13 band equalizer. Um, it, it, it starts off by default, everything in the center. You just rotate your uh, your uh, your volume knob, and you'll see your little cursor blinking. And when you find the one that you want to change, just press on it, and you can turn it up. You know, treble on the side, bass on the side, mids in the middle, and you can make make your sound exactly the way you want it to sound. And with the the more bands of equalizer, the better control over your sound you got. You got your Q factor, bass extension, you know that that, that stuff. Pro setup. This is where you get into even more stuff you can change. Um, digital sound processing, uh, this is where you get into uh, if you have, like amps and stuff, you know, that's all really crazy. If you just use it for regular radio CD player, you probably, don't, probably won't need to work, worry about all that. Car type, you can actually tell the radio what kind of car you're driving and then it'll automatically adjust the sound to get the best sound quality for the, your vehicle. 
mean, you got wagon, minivan, SUV, minivan long, compact car, full size car. And just put it whichever one, just click it, and it'll auto automatically adjust your speakers to make it sound the way it should. Uh, speaker setting. You can actually tell this radio what size speaker you have and where they're at. So, like, if you have some, uh, uh, let's say, some 4x6s, and they're in the dash, front dash, uh, you can tell it to put it on the dash. And if you have a tweeter, if it's a large tweeter, small tweeter, you can tell it what size for that, too. Now, it automatically adjusts the sound accordingly. Uh, rear, uh, you can tell you can tell the radio what size regular speakers you have in the rear and where they're at. If there's a door, the back deck, you know, rear deck, you know, watch this door's rear deck. And then what size they are. Like I said, I'll make it adjust your radio for those settings. If you have a subwoofer, you have 10 inch, 12 inch, 15 inch over, none, no subwoofer, 6 inch, you make the 10 inch. You just select it and then I'll make it adjust what kind of sound that you know, quality sound that goes out to your subwoofer. And of course, then later on, you can adjust more controls. All right, that's all uh, for the speaker setting. The next setting is for X over. This is really good to slopes and, and filters and gains. I mean, you can really dial in that sound that you want. And, and uh, if, so if you're a technophile, technology nerd person, just, just loves to tinker with settings and get the, the best quality sound of it, this radio can do it for you. And you got, you know, you can, you can even adjust the, the settings with a tweeter. Um, DTA settings, um, I can't remember what DTA stands for, but you can use more settings than it. Sound enhancements, you got a, you got a sound realizer, you can uh, make more fullness of a sound, you got two levels, or three levels of that. Sound elevation. Uh, do you want the sound to come up, you know, through the floor and in front of you, up high, you know, kind of, you know, you know, like the surround, like theater sound. Uh, volume offset. It's automatically turned up, but you can actually adjust it back down for certain things. Subwoofer mute. That's to turn the subwoofer off and on. Uh, that way you have just just highs playing. Audio presets. Um, uh, put some some presets in memory and recall them and that's all for the audio control as a pro, pro setup next setup is bass boost turn out there's like three levels of it that's a, just puts some, put some more oomph in the bass and get loudness uh, low and high and you just kind of boost the whole sound all together uh, balance and fader of course we all know what that is and that's, and I believe that's it for the audio control. There's a lot in there, and you can actually get lost and probably end up having to start over changing so many settings. Display illumination, we already kind of went over that with the Bluetooth mode. You have to display select, which is actually a different one. Uh, type select, you can actually, you know, got like station name, artist name, or you can have like just a time, uh, spect spectrum anal analyzer, or just turn it off altogether. Uh, two line information. Or, or three line. Uh, side select, it, all of this is changes from side over here to a little picture or none at all. And text select, this is where you actually you know, select different stuff for your information. You, know, you can make the artist up here, station down here, song title, album, all kinds of stuff. Time clock, all, everything. Uh, status, no. Alright, that's all for that. Color select the course, you know, that's changing the display and the key colors, display and illumination, dimmer, contrast, or I already went through all that in the Bluetooth menu, and that's pretty much it for display and illumination. Settings, there's your IF band, seek mode, which we'll do right here, auto memory, you can automatically set the first six stations on your FM with the next six strongest radio stations, whether you like them or not. Uh, receive mode, auto, digital, analog, for the HD radio, just leave it on auto. Uh, tag memory, that's where you can go and you get 50, you can tag 50 different songs. Uh, tagging, you can actually turn it off and on or if you want to, you just leave it on. Give you more function if you need it. Clock and data, of course. And that's it for settings. Next one is demo mode, which we've been in that one. Oh, and that's it for the 
that's it for the settings. All right. Yeah, this radio looks really nice. I like it a lot. Um, it, the, the less buttons there is, I mean, I'm kind of more of a computer, computerized person. I like the way the menus are. It, it, you can easily get lost in them and change stuff, and have to start over and reset and read the resetting because there's just so many much stuff to choose. Um, but other than that, this radio is really nice. All right, got the got the radio put back in the box here. Thing, this is the Kimwood Exelon KDC X997. Um, this is a really nice radio that has more features that you can stick, shake a stick at. I mean, if you wanted every feature possible without having you know touchscreen DVD, this this radio has it. HD radio, iHeart radio, iHeart radio, Pandora, iPhone, Android controls, CD player. Two USBs, aux input, color change controls, multiple lines of display. Uh, this radio has it. Like I said the radio runs between 250 to 299, depending on where you get it from. Uh, two year warranty, four volt free outs. What more could you ask for without you know breaking the bank? Anyway, this is uh, Paul with 12voltreview.com, and y'all have a great day. Y'all, I thank y'all for watching, and please subscribe.